let me talk to you about something that I think should be taught in Pony Club. Inside the horse's hoof is a remarkable hemodynamic system that Dr. Robert Bowker describes as a hydraulic shock absorber. Through his work, he explains that circulation is driven by negative pressure created by tissue expansion during the loading phase. When the hoof lands heel first, the capsule expands, the fiber cartilage in the frog and digital cushion expand, and the solar dome flattens. This action generates a vacuum that literally pulls blood in through the dense network of microvessels in the caudal hoof. That influx of blood dissipates energy from impact, nourishes the tissues, regulates temperature, and maintains fluid balance inside the capsule. As the hoof lifts, the capsule rebounds, tissues relax, solar concavity is restored, and fluid exits the capsule. Bowker's research shows that this vacuum mechanism is the foundation of healthy hoof perfusion. But when the system is compromised through inflammation or poor hoof form and improper loading, we have less expansion and subsequent vacuum. Blood flow diminishes, tissues weaken, and pathology can set in. Conditions like navicular syndrome and laminitis often trace back to this failure of circulation. That's why movement on varied terrain and evidence-based physiologic trimming are essential. They stimulate fiber cartilage development in the digital cushion and keep this hemodynamic flow working step after step. Good boy. You're such a good boy. <laughs>